Hey guys! Today I'll be giving some organizational tips and tricks. Number one, instead of having a confusing jumble of mysterious chords that you don't know what to do with, label your chords with which devices they can be used for. I reused some old cookie containers and labeled them with washi tape. Number two, store everything vertically. This obviously applies to things like folders, books, and binders, but I even use this for something like my camera battery chargers. Storing items vertically makes it much easier and neater to take things out since you don't have to pull them out of a stack. Tip number three, have a set spot for items that tend to get lost. For example, your phone, your keys. I personally lose my earbuds a lot because I take them with me everywhere. By the way, if you want to check out the earbuds that I'm using, I will have a discount code in the description. It's not an affiliate code. Instead of just putting it down wherever you stop using it and hoping that you'll remember where you put them, put the items in that spot. That way, whenever you're looking for them, you can just go look there. Number four, store items where they're easy to put away, not where they're easy to take out. Because the real problem with organization isn't that it's hard to take things out, it's because it's hard to put things away. For example, you should store your shoes at your front door instead of in your closet. Tip number five, put hooks in your room and closet. That way you can easily hang up your jacket or your pajamas or any other clothing that you tend to wear multiple times. Also, put your laundry basket at the place where you change clothes. This way you won't have piles of clothes on your floor. Number six, when you're putting items into your bag or backpack for school, use a smaller pouch within that bag whenever it's possible. For example, here I have a first aid pouch for small, health-related things. In my laptop sleeve, I have pouches for my flash drive and mouse. This will help you avoid having loose items that you'll have to spend ages digging around for. It's much easier to grab a large pouch and then find smaller items within that than to just shuffle around in your backpack. Tip seven, name your files in a way that facilitates searching for them in the search bar of your laptop or Google Drive. For example, my English essays aren't named just the title of the essay. They're a huge mishmash of keywords like English, essay, subject of essay, teacher, date, and year. And tip number eight, put reminders where you will see them for sure. This might be writing on your mirror with chalk markers. This is how I remind myself that I need to floss. If you check your phone first thing in the morning, set it as your phone wallpaper. Or another personal example, if I need to remember to drop off a giveaway package or bring a particular item for a school project, I'll put it right at my bedroom door so I have to see it before I leave my room for school. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have other tips you'd like to share, make sure you leave them in the comments. I upload new videos every Friday, and my Tumblr and Instagram are at studyquill if you want to check those out. See you next time!